Hello, this is Matthew from Cop Technical Support. Today, in our short video, what I'm going to be showing you is how to add an NVR to the Hike Connect app. Here we're using a Hike Vision Recorder NVR 5.0. So, the first place we're going to want to look before we go to any of the Hike Connect settings is System Settings and then Network. For the recorder to be able to communicate to the cloud up to Hike Connect, it needs to have a correct IPv4 address, the correct default gateway, which will always be site specific, and it needs a DNS server. We can see that at the moment, my recorder doesn't have a DNS server. And let's say I don't know what it is. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to enable DHCP, which should automatically obtain me a correct IP address, a correct default gateway. And as long as we have this auto obtain DNS server, option ticked and selected, what that should do is generate me the correct DNS as well. So let's give that a save. And there we go, that's populated my DNS server. That doesn't work on every single site depending on network complexity, but it's a good place to start if you can't get Hike Connect to go online. Next, on the left hand side, let's go to Hike Connect. So we can see here at the moment that this is disabled. Before enabling, what we can do is if we don't have the app already on a smartphone, you can scan using the phone's camera the QR code here that's highlighted as the mobile client, and that will download the latest version of the app onto the device. From there, we follow on to step two, which is registering an account into the app. So the customer then has a username or email address or phone number signed up with a password to allow them access into the app. So let's enable our Hype Connect. If you keep an eye here, where there's this grayed out QR code, if we turn this on and we agree with the service terms, and then give it a moment, we'll see our connection status has gone online. Our account status is unlinked, which means it isn't already on somebody else's app. And we now have a QR code that we can scan. This QR code we can scan in the Hike Connect app and that will add the device automatically in for us. You see down here, it gives us the option for a verification code. If you'd like to edit this so you know exactly what it is or just reveal it so you know and can have note of it in case it's ever prompted for, you can click on the icon of the eye to get the code to show up. Or you can click on the edit icon to change it. So. Now our recorder is ready to be added to the app. I'll swap you over to my smartphone and we'll carry on from there. And here we are now over on my smartphone. So what we're going to do is go add device, scan QR code. Yeah. That's picked up our read quite nicely. We can see there that serial number matches my recorder and we just go add. And that's it. This can be renamed if we like. So we can just call it COP1. Go next. This page is only important to us if as an installer, we're using Hike Partner Pro. Uh, if we're using Hike Partner Pro, we tap Authorize Now at the bottom, and then we would select our company to be the service provider. If we're not using Hike Partner Pro, in the top right hand corner, we have the skip option. And there we are. We can see our recorder, we can see that the devices are currently armed, and that's it added into my app. So we did have other adding options. If we tap the plus in the top right, because now we don't have that big red add device. And what we could have done instead of scanning the QR code is add the device manually. That uses the device's serial number and verification code to add the device in, and that would use the cloud as well. What we don't want to do is use online device because that adds the unit as a local unit and wouldn't work unless we were sat on the same network. And that's everything. Thank you very much for watching today.